Hey, are you pleased with the fact that Masahiro was able to give you six and two thirds this afternoon? Yeah, it was huge. Um, thought he threw the thought he threw the ball well. Um, you know, we did make a couple plays behind him, obviously, that kind of extended some innings there and made the line a little worse. But you know, other than the McNeil home run, I thought I thought he was pretty good today. Some sloppy defensive plays on both sides, but you look at the difference in this one. Your team's ability to take advantage of that Todd Frazier error yeah. in the fourth inning. Yeah, I thought. You know, really good at bats all day. I thought Wheeler was throwing the ball well early. Um, you know, we took advantage of, of some pitches, though. When he did make a mistake, you know, obviously Luke's home run w w was really big, but uh, a lot of guys up and down the order, Geo, the list goes on that I thought had really quality at bats today and important to um, continue to add on like that uh, in the first game of a doubleheader, you know. Uh, those, all those, All those runs matter. You mentioned contributions one through nine this afternoon, but did the bottom three in your order really stand out in Morales, Urshela, and Gardner? Yeah, um, it was good to see. Um, you know, Mo find some green finally. You know, he's hit some balls hard and hasn't had a lot of luck to show. But you know, Gardy, Gardy with really good at bats. Obviously, Gio with a with a really big homer there. So, yeah, I mean. You know that's that's been a theme. We've we've gotten contributions from everyone. That's that's uh, allowed us to win games and and it paid a, played a big part today. Clap to the right. And would you like to see the defense tighten up a little bit? Is that an issue yet? Well, of course. I mean, you know, it, it's hard to consistently, you know, win when you're given extra outs. But um, you know, today. Um, you know, a couple of those were, you know, you know, I actually thought of that first first play that Didi made where he he had the air. I thought it was actually a really good play by Didi where, you know, you got to hurry. You know, might have been Mo a little late to to get to the bag, so he didn't have the flexibility that he could have obviously. And and then a couple drops. So, um, you know that that is going to happen from time to time, but. I do feel like defensively, um, our personnel right now allows us to, to to where that should be a strength, and, and and we saw a number of good plays today. Joe, to the right. Aaron, do you have uh, a number of games played or played appearances where you think is a level where when you watch someone who doesn't have a previous track record, you say, "Yes, I believe in it now," and has both Void and or Usheller passed that for you? I, I don't have that. You know, I think every every player is different. Their story's different. You know, you try and, you know, make your own evaluations about where they are in their development, where they might be in their career, what you're seeing, you know, with your eyes. Um, so, no, I mean, the more, more obviously it goes on, you know, obviously the more real it becomes, certainly. But there's, no, there's no threshold that I'm like, okay, now it's for real. I do. Well, I, you know, going back to, to Luke, and, you know, we've talked about this a lot, you know, organizationally, a, a guy that we identified that, you know, we, we, we felt like he was capable of this and, and came here and, and really just took advantage of an opportunity that probably hadn't existed before. And all we've seen from him is, a guy with tremendous power to all fields and a guy that controls his own. And, um, you know, that hasn't, that hasn't stopped since he got here. And frankly, um, is what he was, <clears throat> you know, as a minor leaguer before, um, with geo, we, we, he was always on our radar because of the defense, obviously, um, you know, even going back to last year, he was, talked about a lot and and I think um, our guys in the office did a good job of identifying that this is a guy that they felt like um, the quality contact that he was making in the minor leagues had a chance to potentially translate we feel like he's he's made some adjustments in his game and his offensive game that have allowed him now to start to have have that translated success in the big leagues Eric to the right what specifically about Tanaka's stuff encouraged you today? Um, I thought his split was better, again. Uh, and I thought it was better in Toronto, frankly. Um, you know, I know he gave up the home run on the split to McNeil. Um, but I thought we saw a number of good splits. Um, 
<laughs> again, the fastball slider combination, which has kind of been there for him all season long, where he's been able to, you know, even in that last inning, he was, he was able to step on some fastballs. He elevated the fastball. I thought he did a good job of that. And the slider continues to be a really good weapon for him to both righties and lefties. Brian, on the right again. Seven of the runs you guys scored today came with two outs. What does that say about this offense? It's it's something these guys have done really well. I feel like all year, um, you know, uh, you know, we, we we've still struck out our fair share, but I feel like um, we've done a really good job with two outs, with two strikes of of really being a threat and and still giving quality at bats and. Um, you know, it's, it's a big reason why we've been able to win a lot of games is I feel like the the quality of at-bats in certain situations ha has uh, has been really good. Dan, did you get the update on uh, Dellen yet? Dellen, yeah. Um, so he's got a low-grade strain of his lat. Um, so he'll be shut down for a few weeks. Um, you know, I guess good news that it is low, low you know, a low-level strain, but... but uh, but obviously, uh, you know, frustrating, especially because, you know, <clears throat> the shoulder's good and he was feeling good and, and, and now a little, little slow down. So, um, you know, we'll support him right now and, and hopefully, um, you know, this few weeks down and, and, and then ramp him back up. And, you know, as I talked to him before I walked in here, you know, he's, he's still going to play a big role for us this year, um, just a little later than we thought. Do you know when that occurred? I'm guessing when we went down there, I mean, I, I can't know for sure. Uh, you know, he came out of his throwing the hitters well, but, you know, felt the soreness the next day. And then when it was still there, when he went out to start his bullpen the next day, uh, you know, that that was when, you know, we, we knew we needed to take a look at this. How tough is it for you just to see a number of guys now be seemingly close to returning and then, you know, suffering setbacks? Yeah, I mean... You know, kind of hurt for the individuals. Um, you know, I know how hard Dellen's worked to get back. And again, I, you know, he is going to be back, and we feel like he's going to be back and contribute this season. It just obviously continues to push back. So you're frustrated for the player, um, but obviously confident that we have the guys that can withstand it. And, uh, you know, we'll be all the better when, when we do get him at some point. Meredith. Batanz is the second pitcher that started with a shoulder issue, ended with a lat issue. Do you think there's any correlation in the way they're doing things down there or just a coincidence? I, I, I believe coincidence, but, you know, it, you know, what, I mean, I, I, I don't know, uh, you know, it, you know, we, we've had obviously things happen this year to guys where, you know, it's been a lot obviously and, but we've dealt with it, but you know, I, I'm certainly not the person to ask about when exactly that happened. Anyone else? Last one to the left. It seems like Didi's bat is picked up right where he left off, but where do you feel like his defense is at after coming off, off the long layoff? There. I mean, you know, obviously the play in Cleveland is, you know, we'll never see that. And, and today, you know, again, the, the, the air that he was charged with, really break it down it's almost a it's it's a great play with rosario running to the backhand to be able to get that throw off uh with that on it you know we probably should have completed that play um and then you know a diving play that goes off his off his glove um not worried about dd at all uh and now i'm just looking forward to him getting built up you know to where he's you know back and playing you know every day pretty much